Hello world, Melrose, home of media group. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be uh, heading one of the radio shows that we're going to be offering to the universe, you know what I'm saying? Me and Sunset Brown, uh, we're going to play some of the latest uh, music from some local acts, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to be on some cutting edge, uh, break new talent, you know what I mean? Bring new fresh flavor to the airwaves that's our main objective we're trying to create a network of new content i should say we're, we're looking to cover things that we find important to us you know what i mean from a community standpoint from a humane standpoint and most importantly a artistic standpoint but i'm here on behalf of the rate you know what i'm saying and uh the very important question that was proposed to uh, people of all color, I believe, you know what I'm saying? And it was simply, what does it mean to have a black president? Now, for me personally, I've pondered this question over and over in my mind, and I really wanted to um, have a legitimate response. And I've come to sum it up to... Um, what did it mean to have Michael Jordan in the NBA? To me, what uh, President-elect Barack Obama did was dominate in the game of politics. Simple. He played a political game. He dominated. He scored... Uh, how many super delegate points did my man get? He got all them points. Bam! Now, what does that mean to us as a people? The same thing it meant when Kobe Bryant scored 81 points. It didn't mean anything to the people. It meant to the person for his personal accomplishment. As much as we can say that we can take part in his victory, we can't. That was something that that man did politically. There were strategists involved. There are a lot of things, you know what I mean? That's just my uh, standpoint. Because from this point on, is this going to make it um, easier for us to enter politics and dominate it? No. That didn't give us an open door or an open window to now we can dominate in politics. Because that was a, that, it, it was the same thing when Colin Powell had his position. What did that mean for the people? It meant nothing for the people. It meant for the person. Colin Powell is the only person that can be recognized as having done what he did. Barack Obama is the only person that can be uh, have any recognition for having done what he did. When, when it's all said and done, they're not going to say um, he was the first black president and he was supported by all black people and that changed black America. That's not, that didn't do it. You know what I mean? Although we all rallied around the concept of having a black president and we did as little as we could do, which was get up and vote for those who did. I personally didn't do it. Sorry. True. True. But I mean, now what did that mean to black America? Nothing. That I didn't vote, that didn't mean that that wasn't a blow. And you voting didn't change black America. So we got to do more than get up and vote. Uh, it's my standpoint. Uh, big up to President-elect, you know what I mean? You ran a great campaign. You had a great team. And you did what you set out to do. And that was win the game. Man, you know what I mean? So what does it mean to us as a race? Um, it means that we need to play a better game. Use that example to play a better game and dominate the field that you win. But don't think just because a black person did it, you can turn around and do it. Because that's, that's looking at, that's, that's belittling his accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? Like saying, I saw Will Chamberlain score 100 points. That means I can do it. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you cannot. Just because one person do it don't mean everybody can do it, man. Let's get that out of our head. Because if, if you're going to do that, it's going to take 
what he put into winning over the world. You, you know what I mean? So take that with you, you know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for the radio show. You're going to get comments like that from me, man. Like, you know, I'm not always um with the with the grain sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I go against the grain sometimes, and that's what makes me who I am, and that's what makes this such a uh, beautiful place to be. You know what I'm saying? So look out for the Homegrown Network, Homegrown Entertainment, Mill Bros. Big up, man. See you when I see you.